When we talk about security in general or in web services, there are four areas that needs to be addressed. They are authentication, confidentiality, integrity and non-repudiation. Let's take a look at each of these with a use case of online shopping. Let's say we are building an e-commerce application called eMart where the customer purchases something and he makes a payment. When he makes a payment, our eMart will call into the bank's payment gateway web service. When it does that, the bank will ask eMart to provide authentication information which is username and password usually. Otherwise, any hacker, a friendly neighborhood hacker, can hack into the bank's payment gateway. The process of exchanging username and password and making sure that it is really the eMart application that is accessing the bank's payment gateway is called authentication and only then the bank will respond. In the WS security standard, there are three ways to do authentication using username token profile, X509 certificates and SAML. SAML is used for single sign-on. That is within our organization, if we have multiple web service provider applications and we want our clients to log into one of the application and he will be able to access any other web service application or provider without logging in again. We can do that using SAML. Second is very important aspect, confidentiality. When we exchange SOAP messages, it could be credit card information or social security number or any other sensitive information. We do not want the hackers or the pirates of the web to access that data and make their own payments. That is where confidentiality comes in. In WS security, we'll make sure that even if the hacker finds out that message, he'll not be able to make sense out of it by using WS security's encryption and decryption. That is on the client side, when the message is sent, we encrypt it. On the server side, we'll decrypt it. And on the other way back, we'll uh, encrypt the response. On the client side, we'll decrypt it. We will work hands-on on all that later on. Third is integrity of the message. This is where we ensure that the message that is sent by the client application is exactly the same message that is received by the server application and no other hacker uh, who likes to add random stuff will add stuff to our message which can crash our server-side application when it is run. He can add scripts that when run can crash our database or the application server. We make sure we provide integrity using WS security signatures. That is, when we send the message, we'll calculate a hash value of the message using an algorithm and that hash will be a part of the message that goes to the server. On the server side, we'll recalculate the hash and we'll compare both the hashes that came from the client as well as the, the hash value that we calculate on the server. And they should match. If not, that means somebody in between has changed the message. More on signatures in lectures later on. Last but not the least, non-repudiation, which prevents replay attacks. That is, if a hacker captures our message in between, which is properly authenticated, encrypted, as well as it has the signature, he simply gets the message and he replays that message a million times in the next five minutes to crash our application. WS Security provides timestamp to not do replay attacks or to stop replay attacks from happening. You are going to implement all these in the next few lectures, username token profile to authenticate, encryption and decryption using public keys and private keys, integrity using signatures, and finally, you'll use the timestamp to prevent replay attacks.